you. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I am a visual artist based in Halifax, Nova Scotia on the unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq peoples. I was born in Brandon, Manitoba, Treaty 1 territory, and I joined the Canadian Forces um, a week after I graduated high school. Um, and I deployed to Afghanistan in 2008 with 2PP CLI, the second Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry out of Shiloh, Manitoba. Um, I deployed uh, within two years of joining, so it was a really quick um, jumping right in and heading right over experience. Um, I got home that, that year and uh, eventually with, through my, my military career, I ended up working a couple more years full time um, on a class B contract with the reserves. And eventually I was medically released from the Canadian Forces in 2014. Um, it took a long time for me uh, to move through that process. Um, I didn't get diagnosed until 2014 um, or 13 with uh, PTSD with a secondary um, condition of um, anorexia and bulimia. Um, in 2009, I did see a counselor on base. Um, and told her about some of the things I had been experiencing, um, a little obsessed with exercise and um, eliminating food in my diet. And at that time, they uh, said that there is no connection with eating disorders and combat exposure. Uh, so it took, took a long time to find the right doctors to give me the proper diagnosis. Um, but since leaving the Canadian Forces, I moved to Halifax, Nova Scotia. And I attended the Nova Scotia College of Art and Design and studied fine art and graduated in 2015. Um, when I went to art school, I had no intentions on making artwork about war and conflict or the military. I just kind of wanted to set that experience behind and move forward. But naturally, I started to make work um, about my personal experiences in the military and from my tour in Afghanistan. Um, following my graduation from NASCAD, I uh, started to look at the broader context of war and conflict and, and the military. And so I started to work with a lot of different community uh, members to create um, large scale performance based installations. So my goal was to bring together veterans with current serving military members and civilians to make these large installations um, to come together and build together. And in doing so, create a safe space to engage on, on difficult dialogue on war and conflict in the military, um, sharing stories and experience with each other, um, not to change any beliefs or opinions, but um, by knowing others, we know ourselves more deeply. Um, there's also a massive gap between military experience and civilian understanding of that experience. So by bringing these different groups of people together, we can kind of bridge that gap through um, the physical making, uh, which is, uh, has been a really wonderful experience. And I've done a lot of uh, different projects around uh, Nova Scotia. And in 2018, I was accepted to the Canadian Forces Artist Program out of the War Museum in Ottawa. And I was embedded with the Canadian Forces on Op Unifier in Ukraine, uh, where I documented um, through video, photography, um, and through interviews, um, the Canadian Forces training of the Ukrainian military. Um, currently, I'm working on a really large community project where I've brought people together to hand make large camouflage nets um, based off of um, designs from World War I and World War II. Um, in World War II, we saw um, women hand making these nets in the UK to be sent to the front lines in Europe. And since March of this or February of this year, we've been seeing men, women, and children in Ukraine meeting in schools and libraries to hand make these large camouflage nets to be sent to the front lines. So I've brought community together in collaboration with the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia. And this project was funded by the True Patriot Love Foundation, where we've invited people to join us um, to tie fabric and to weave fabric onto these large nets that are all 14 feet by 50 feet. Uh, long um, to stop and think about Ukraine, to think about war and conflict and how we're affected here in Canada. We don't have war in our streets, but we are very much directly impacted by it. Um, and to offer support to Ukraine through the physical act of making. Um, and so these nets are going to be installed at the Halifax 
Halifax International Security Forum this later this month, and then they will be shipped to Ukraine to be used wherever necessarily necessary along the front lines. So I feel very um, honored to be part of the Canadian Forces Artist Program and that long lineage that dates back to World War I, um, and to be able to support the military um, just in a different capacity now. Thank you so much.